there are some very angry bees out here, but like a lot. A mission to get rid of bees without killing them turns into an absolute nightmare. Glad you're up with us tonight on Nightside. Carolina has the night off. I am Ryan Bass. This home just blocks from Plant High School had a bee problem, so they tried to do the right thing. Instead of calling an exterminator, they asked a company to come out and try and move them. And that's where everything went horribly wrong. Beekeepers did remove the hive, but left a few too many angry bees behind. And I'm telling you, it turned into an absolute mess. They swarmed everywhere, including a light post and a car. Nightside's Bo Zimmer tries to explain how this all went so wrong. When a hive of honeybees showed up in an owl house high above Monica O'Flanagan's front yard, this South Tampa mom wanted the bees gone, but not killed. Well, we wanted to do the right thing. We needed them to go because we've got a lot of kids in the neighborhood. Um, but we know that bees are endangered and, and struggling right now. So she hired Christian and Stephanie Rantham to move the bees to a farm in Odessa. The couple spent nearly an hour removing the owl house while using duct tape to try to keep as many bees as they could inside. But it wasn't easy. So the problem right now is they're starting to climb up the tree itself, which is not what we want. Afterwards, the Rantham seemed satisfied. How did that operation go? <laughs> I loved it. It's smooth. <laughs> There's still several bees loose, but um, that's just the name of the game. You can't get 100% of the bees. But the O'Flanagans, who are watching from inside their home, immediately had questions. I was a little concerned because I did see a lot of bees flying around the streetlights. And when I say a lot, I mean like thousands. The next morning, things were even worse. The bees were swarming around her. The agitated bees attacking anyone who got close, including Monica's own daughter. Got them in her hair and got in the car, so they were freaking out about the bees in the hair in the car. This isn't the way it should have been that this isn't the norm. We showed our video to the Tampa Bay Beekeepers Association. They're surprised the Ranthans didn't use a bee vac like this one to safely suck up the bees for relocation. In fact, things got so bad the Ranthans returned the following day and admit using insecticide to kill the remaining bees. It's so important to save them. Yeah. Does this hurt when you see stuff like that? It this? hurts bad, yeah. Boy, and I tell you what, I showed up this afternoon around 3 o'clock. I couldn't even get out of my car. Wow. They were, they were t attacking my car. Wow. I mean, and you spoke to the Renthas tonight. Did they explain how everything just went so wrong? Basically, this hive got a lot bigger, and they admit they may not have been prepared. They may have not have had the tools they needed to get this particular job done safely. Now, the Beekeepers Association says what? Before you hire a beekeeper, you've got to do what? They, they do not want this situation to discourage people. They've got a full list of fully qualified beekeepers. Give them a call. They'll get you in touch. With I don't know. I don't know how you kept your cool around there because I, I am scared to death of bees. So I certainly understand what they're feeling. By the way, we posted a link on our website at WTSP.com. All the information you need, you can check out there. Thank you so much, Bo.